Once you know if you're regular or goofy footed, and once you've got your snowboard ready to go, get on snow for your first lesson, skating and stepping. What's the hold up? <laughs> I'm concentrating. On walking the stairs? No, on getting around the hill, practicing balance, and riding the chairlift. Skating and stepping. Skating and stepping are the first skills you'll learn on snow, but ones you'll use every time you strap on your snowboard. If the terrain is flat, you'll skate. If you're trying to go uphill, you'll be stepping. And while the movements may seem unusual at first, Never fear, because there are variations on movements you already know and love. Let's begin with skating. First, get in an athletic stance. You don't know what an athletic stance is? An athletic stance is the basic neutral stance that is used in many sports. Look at a soccer goalie waiting on a penalty kick. The proper snowboard stance is feet shoulder width apart, ankles, knees, and hips flexed nicely, Back straight, shoulders square, hands nice and relaxed at your sides. If you're not like that, well, you're not going to be able to recover. And recovery is something you always need in snowboarding. Plant your front foot in the snow and keep your knee nice and bent. If you're regular, this will be your left foot. If you're goofy, your right foot will be forward. Now use the heel of your back foot to trace a line in the snow. The line should be between 16 and 20 inches long, or about as long as your stance is wide. Now that you've got that down, trace a line behind you with your toe. Too easy for you, huh? Well, buckle your front foot into your binding and trace the same line while strapped into your board. Remember, you only need to trace a short distance. To get moving, apply the same motion you use tracing, but this time dig your back foot into the snow. Get traction and you'll start to move forward. This can be quite an awkward motion, so practice a while. Figure eights, races, tag, whatever works. If you're having trouble, focus on moving your back foot a shorter distance. Too much will cause you to be off balance. You may be wondering how this could get any better. Well, there are more options. Whether you skate on your heel edge with your foot behind you or on your toe edge with your foot in front will largely depend on two factors, your personal preference or the terrain you're on. Some people find it easier to skate with their foot in the front. Personally, I prefer mine in the rear. If you're on any kind of an incline, you always want to keep your board on an edge. Which edge is the right edge? Your uphill edge should dig into the snow, acting as a sort of platform to stand on. If you're skating on your toe edge, dig the edge in by putting pressure on your front toe. For your heel edge, put pressure on your front heel. Well, that was helpful, but how does that relate to the stairs? That brings us to the art of stepping or taking steps up the hill with your front foot strapped in and your back foot unstrapped. This is a motion we all know. Approach a hill or flight of stairs and step forward with your back leg. When you step up, pull your front leg behind you as if you're limping. Now that you've got that, buckle your front foot into your binding and tip your board up on its toe edge. You want to really dig it in to get traction, so pretend you're standing on your tiptoes. Apply the same motion you use to walk upstairs. Step your back foot uphill and put all your weight over it. Then lift your snowboard completely off the ground and pull it up behind you. If you're having trouble, take smaller steps. Big ones cause you to be off balance. While you'll most likely step using your toe edge, it's good to practice stepping on your heel edge as well. You know, because practicing fundamentals of balance is fun. Although not as fancy as carving or freestyle, learning to snowboard requires mastering a series of small yet essential steps. And like anything else, if you try to skip steps, you'll be in trouble. When you master skating and stepping, you're ready for the next lesson, straight glides.